My name is Mark Baldino. I'm the co-founder of Fuzzy Map. My business is a user experience design consultancy. So we help our clients design or redesign digital products or services. So it could be a mobile app, uh, a website, or a piece of software. Well, I mean, I think it's a continual challenge and it's, it's, around, it's around people. Um, I mean, any business owner, sales obviously, getting clients in the door um, is a component um, and that involves people and employees are, are human beings as well. And I think <laughs> all humans are really complex. And so keeping people happy in terms of uh, my clients and my employees at the same time is I think a real a real challenge. I mean, we are, we're a consultancy, right? So um, people hire us for our brains. Now we're doing design work, we're producing design artifacts at the end of the day, but we're solving problems for them. And um, because people are complex, it's it's hard to kind of keep everybody happy and moving in, in, in the right direction. And so what I found is that it's a real balance um, between employee happiness and client kind of happiness and, and, and satisfaction. And um, what I try to practice to help with this challenge is, is really to be um, empathic, to, to, to have empathy for, for people. And that can be my employees when they're struggling to try to put myself in their shoes and, and understand what's going on in their minds and why they might be struggling. Or my, my clients, how do I truly make our clients happy? Um, what is maybe bothering them? What are their challenges at, at their job or at their company? And so it's really this, this balance between those two. And um, I like to say that um, in the short term, when, we're, when a client hires us, I advocate for the client in the short term um, and ensure their happiness because that's how we get paid and how we run the business. But in the long term, um, human capital is an important component of my business. And so keeping my employees as ha is, uh, happy is, is extremely important. So short term goes to client happiness, but long term goes to my employee happiness. And so we've developed an, kind of a number of strategies to to balance that. And it's, it's really around trying to make sure we're working with the right type of people as a client that they need our services, that we're providing a lot of value to them, and um, that our, my employees are then therefore putting my employees in a position to, to succeed so that they're going to be happy or satisfied. And while a client may, uh, you know, uh, a client project might not turn out maybe as well as we had wanted, there's opportunities for us to, um, to, to fix that, change what we're doing, try to get that client engagement in a proper space, but then evaluate whether that client makes sense for us moving forward. So um, I try to, we try to learn from all of our projects and figure out what's the right fit for fuzzy math from a client perspective um, and make sure we're giving them value. And then that ensures that there's a fit overall in the long term for, for my employees and that they're happy in, in kind of the long term. So I think humans are, are the biggest challenge I, I run into. Uh, and really it's this balance of keeping clients happy and, and keeping my employees happy all the time. It's been a real challenge. So the best business advice I've actually gotten um, was, and I'll say this in two ways, it was important, which was um, that you should be working on your business, not at your business. Um, the theory, and I say it's good advice because I actually um, find it to be not true, but when I got it, I worked hard at it. So the, the theory is that um, working on your business means working on the strategy and, and business growth and not at your business. So we're, we're a team of designers. So as a business owner, I should be focusing on running the business, not being a designer. Uh, and when I tried that, I found that I got too far away from my clients and, and what they needed. And um, when I was trying to sell to other clients or trying to ensure that our clients were happy, I was too kind of far removed. And I think a lot of people as, as I think Think people hear as entrepreneurs this piece of advice which is to work um, work on your business not be an employee at your business you can kind of miss um, you can kind of miss uh, align the business you can in sort of not ensure proper growth um, you'll have unhappy clients you'll probably have unhappy employees so I've sort of flipped it. I mean, what I believe now is is better advice that I would give to somebody else is that, that you can balance working on your business and at your business and that you shouldn't shy away from um, being involved in some client projects or understanding what your customers' problems are and not just focused on growth strategy for your business. And you should really have a balance of the two because if your strategy gets too far away of what's happening day in and day out on the business, um, you're going to be growing improperly. Uh, and again, I think you're going to be um, certainly having uh, low satisfaction 
satisfaction from a client perspective and most satisfaction from an employee perspective. So, so what that taught me was I tried it. It didn't really work for me. So I try to find a balance now and it goes back to um, ensuring that the people that we are working for have a high level of satisfaction, our clients, um, because that leads to additional clients. It leads to referrals, which is the majority of where we get our businesses, is from people that know us and have worked with us. But it also ensures my employees are happy um, if I'm in touch with what's hap happening in the business day in and day out, and that leads to you know higher retention rates. And um, again, when you're dealing in a business that's primarily human capital, the longer I can keep my team, the more successful the business is going to be.